So we're just here looking at the famous Pinnix wall. Now these are massive cyclopean and polygonal blocks making up this huge Acropolis, which is also known as the Hill of the Muses. It's just over the way from the Acropolis and the Parthenon, but it's very likely this is prehistoric. We're finding very good evidence here of very, very ancient technology. It's believed that it was dated, it could be dated to at least 2800 BC and it was used right up until the Byzantine times. We know that because up the top there's like a quarry area, which we'll look at in a moment. And it's connected with the mythical flight of Theseus against the Amazons. Uh, and there's evidence that Ecclesia, or the assembly of the de demons or demos, gathered here at the Hill of Pinnix. Also sanctuaries of Zeus and the nymphs, who were thought to be giants in some accounts. And um, it could be connected with the Cyclops, because, because it's classically Cyclopean construction. So let's just take a walk up towards the hill and towards the actual wall itself. It's thought to be a retaining wall, but it's very unclear its real purpose. It's very similar to Baalbek and Byblos in Lebanon. If you actually look at the style here, it's got like protruding areas with kind of nice uh, shaping around the edge of most of the stones. And you have these steps cut out as well. And you can just see the size of some of these. It's just remarkable. Absolutely huge. And they're puffy, polygonal, much like we find in ancient Peru. And we see some very fine construction, the way it just neatly slots together, even though these are mighty, massive megalithic blocks. Some kind of limestone is from this area. Much of the sites are built of this particular kind of limestone up into the classical and Roman era. And it's amazing that this place used to be revered and used by people making judgments, almost like a, not really an oracle site, but a, almost like a court, like a court where the ancients would actually do that. And, this, and they were choosing this ancient prehistoric polygonal wall, probably built by the Cyclops or the Titans, the ancient giants of Greece. So this is the sanctuary of Zeus and also where the orators would come and give their judgments and meetings and it was supposedly called the Hill of the Muses so it's like an inspirational place as well as being a kind of judgment place so it's really intriguing but I think it's ancient I think this is super ancient we've got this flat rock carving here all over here it's being like quarried and worked in a very, very specific way. Let's head up the top, see what's there. You've got 
these channels cut out here. So this is what's called Meton's Solar Clock. If you step back a little bit, it's in the shade, but you just about see it. It's like a square area with a raised uh, part in the middle, which probably held some kind of pillar up on the hill, Pinnix Hill. And uh, if we just go up the top here. We're, also, we're actually at around five o'clock in the evening now, in late February, early March. We're gonna come up here in the morning probably my last day here and actually get a beautiful light all over this hill where it's probably one of the most important sites in Greece to be honest with you not only have you got the view of the amazing necropolis you've got one of the largest cyclopean polygonal walls in the world at the base of this hill <coughs> and all this stone has been worked in different ways you can see little elements of it, it's been carved out. It's like a quarry. If we go over here, behind, further back from the Pinnix wall, you can see more stonework. It's like a kind of auditorium here at the top of the hill. It's pretty amazing, actually. This looks very ancient as well. This does not look like it's classical Greek. Not such massive stones, but still quite impressive. So this, what we're looking at now, is what's called, I believe, the Diachisma on the Pinks or Pinnix Hill. And this is one of the most significant monuments uh, that's been uh, preserved in this part of Athens. And it's a characteristic example uh, of a fortification but also a reference in all the perigetic and historical sources it keeps being referred to it extends along the hill of the muses you can see it going all the way along there um, and the nymphs is also called the hill of the muses and the hill of the nymphs both of these are very interesting the nymphs are sometimes not only a goddess figures but also referred to as giantesses and um and it's just a very important place and the, the first construction phase they believe is the 4th century BC when the Athenians reinforced their walls following the Battle of Chironia, 338 BC, in, pre in preparation of a possible Macedonian threat. And it was continued to be uh, constructed, but however, that may not be the case. Again, these could be earlier, this is, it sounds like a cliche, everything's older than it is, but look at the ruinous nature of some of these, it's really quite quite badly damaged actually but the Pinnix wall at the, the front which kind of faces uh, towards the east or sort of northeast really is cyclopean construction was this is a bit less in magnitude but very interesting nonetheless a remarkable view of Athens and the Acropolis and the Parthenon from Pinnix Hill mm -hmm.